Sad and lonely. And all I gotta do is act naturally. Oops, I was a bad boy again. I left that small little brush in the freaking time. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Alright, that's not too bad. Eh, the line's a little low. All they to say is please me. Oops, I didn't talk to rock around. I said it's not that easy. It's tricky to rock around, to rock around, that's right on time, it's tricky. How's it, D? It's tricky, tricky, tricky. It's tricky to rock around. We have no time. The city, it's a pity, cause we just can't find. The windows don't mean nothing, they know who's inside. It's tricky to rock around. Yeah, it was my concern. Unfortunately, it came true. Alright, so. Uh, I got to kind of fake it a little bit. And Carol follows Daryl every gig we play. And he dissed her and dismissed her, and now she's chucking Jay. They even bother my poor father because he's down with me. Look, I don't want to sound like I'm calling someone out, but, you know, Rhonda, I still never got the print from when I give you, like, Kickstarter stuff. Just saying. It's a Rhonda MC print, man. I want that shit. You assume on your own. You coke with lots of dope, but we just leave it alone. It's like that, y'all. We don't quit. Because this is it. Try to get on me. Tell him, man, something with the blues. I guess that's why they call it the blues. Time on my hands. Oh, Mississippi, she's calling my name. Catfish are jumping back water to fall. Gotta remember to keep adding that hashtag I can't sing onto my Instagrams. Just let people know what they're coming into. I don't need Amnesty International or anything coming after me. Crimes Against Humanity for my singing. Mm -hmm. Keep on shining your light. We'll make everything. We won't make everything. Uh, we'll eventually have to make another one of the uh, light turquoise things we did, but we're going to try to add some stuff here. We really got in that area. This song always makes me think, uh, it's a weird childhood, like, memory thing, but the, um, when I was a kid, like, I mean, maybe like a teenager, um, I was hanging out with my friend Dawn, and, uh, 
Hey, Tom was there. My friend Kristen as well. Um, I think Lou was there too. The guy who commissioned me for the last, um, one of the last painting, a few paintings before, but. Um, the House and Barn painting. Um, we were walking down near Ridley Lake and, uh, It just there had been a bad rainstorm recently beforehand or whatever, but we ran into a um, like a grandfather and his grandson that were fishing, and the kid was like dead set. He was like, "I, I want to catch a catfish." I just remember telling us that. All right, he was like, "I want to catch a catfish." That's all I really want to catch because you know he shows me a few other like small fish they had in there, uh, you know, a little bin or whatever. But he was, "I want to catch a catfish." I was like, "Ah, oh, you know, we were talking for him a little bit, you know," and. Um, I, you know, whatever. And I'm, okay, we're, well, we're moving on. You know, I mean, it wasn't quite like that, you know, harsh, but like, it was just like, right, yeah, okay, cool. All right, nice talking to you guys. See ya. And we start walking on, and um, there's some baseball fields, like, right by the lake, right by, like, the little creek area there. And, um, like I said, it just rained, like, early before, so the creek of, like, uh, you know, fades into the lake, whatever, rolled over, you know, and flooded the, uh, the area. And it uh, actually had flooded the baseball field there. And there's pools of water all over along the infield. And I see splashing. And so I went over and I was like, close, you know, like as close as I can without like getting all my shit in the water. And I was like, oh my god. So we walked right back to where the, the grandfather and the uh, grandson were fishing. I said, can, I, can I take one of your nets? real quick and they're like huh i was like just can i see one of your nets real quick i think i think i've found something that that's a I'll, I'll pass it over to you guys I'm like i get i guess i said okay cool i'll be right back I'm like and so i ran over to the baseball field with the net scooped up the catfish gave it to the kid i was like look dude catfish for you he's like oh my god i got a catfish oh my god catfish it's pretty cool so I caught a catfish in the middle of a baseball field. Now let's put it this way. I suck at fishing, so... I know you're like, how can you suck at fishing? I suck at fishing. It's kind of like how can you... Yeah. Like when I tell people I can't cook. And I'm like, dude, I can't cook mac and cheese. And they're like, how can you fuck up mac and cheese? And I'm like, I fucked up mac and cheese. You need only ask my friend Valerie from college. On occasion I would stay over at her, her place like when I have a real late, late night class. Because the... Except the trains usually, like, cut off at, like... Well, they didn't cut off, but they'd start to go to, like, an hourly rate. And once you got past, like, 10.30, it was like, eh, I really don't want to be riding a train home at 11.30. And have to, you know, then get home. It's probably by that time going to be almost 12.45 in the morning. No, I guess about 12.15. About 12.40 when I got home. Somewhere around there. I was like, you know what, it's just, because I had a class early the next day, I was like, can I, yeah, so like, can I just crash at your apartment? She's like, yeah, go ahead. So I crashed on her couch. But, you know, some late night classes, I get hungry. So she let me cook mac and cheese one time. And it's the last time she let me cook mac and cheese. It's like burn goddamn mac and cheese. I eventually did learn, because my wife forced me to learn. How to cook mac and cheese. Not, not much beyond that. Tell your children not to roll away. Tell your children not to understand. Oh, mother. Mother. Do you want to bang heads with me? Nah, let's try to speed this up. Try not to, like, overlap it. You know what? Who gives a shit? Fuck it. I'll be honest, this area that we did the other night feels the most like me that I've felt in a really long time. Where it felt like, okay, I'm I'm hitting it with the speed I'm expecting, I'm hitting it with the end feeling that I'm expecting out of it. Like Let's keep that feeling going. Show some look. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need some of that turquoise again. 
Not about to see a lucky, but if you want to find hell with me, I can show you what it's like. Now, I gotta be honest, last time I was talking, uh, last time chatting with Jax Nicole 77 I think it's the screen name, because now I can't think of it, the screen name, because properly. I didn't realize it was my friend, Jackie. I didn't, like, I didn't realize that was her, like, screen name or anything. So, I'm sitting there, like, talking, blah, 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 and at one point she's, she mentioned about how that probably sounds like Heather, the one thing I was saying. And I was like, did I say her name earlier in the stream? I don't remember her saying And I'm like, well, they, they, they clicked follow when I wasn't on, so maybe they looked at an old video. And I was like, uh, that freaked me out a little. Let me go check and see who this person is. And then I looked at the, just looked at the screen name to see what it was, and then popped up on Pinterest that's her login. I was like, uh, that's my thing. Oh. Huh. Yeah! What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Oh, yeah! Oh. Huh. Yeah! What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again! God. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Oh, boy! I despise. Cause it means destruction of innocent lives. War means tears to thousands of mothers' eyes. When sons go and fight and lose their life, I said, War! Huh! Good God, y'all! Absolutely nothing. Let's say it again. Whoa, 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 Lord! Absolutely nothing. Listen to me. Ain't nothing but a heartbreaker. Friend only to the Undertaker. Ah, war. Listen to me. Oh, on mankind. The thought of war blows my mind. War means rest in the younger generations. Induction and destruction. Who wants to die? Wow! Wow! God, y'all. Absolutely. Say it again. Say it. Wow! Wow, yeah. What is it? Good? Absolutely nothing. Listen to me. It ain't nothing but a heartbreaker. Got what, friend? That's the Undertaker. Wow! Wow! It's had it, many a young man's dream. Let him disabled, bitter and mean. Life is much too short and precious to be fighting wars each day. War can't give life, it can only take it away. Ah, oh, war. <laughs> God, y'all. Absolutely nothing. Say it again. Whoa, 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 Lord. Uh, it ain't nothing but a heartbreaker. Right, let's start getting indecisive again. Alright, what one do I like better here? Hold on, let's go. Oxide of chromium or olive green? We'll go with the olive. I think the uh, oxide is just too muddy looking. Starts you water. I mean, I get away with it either way. I'd say no offense, Jersey, but you're Jersey. on the high school radio station. I loved, and I don't know why I loved doing it, but I loved playing War by Edwin Starr and then going right into 
Lowrider by War. I think it was just to screw with, like, say, like, the, um, the teacher who was, like, kind of in charge of the radio station. Just because he'd, he'd end up looking at some of the program sheets and see War and War, like, you know, like that. Kind of on angles. I don't know why I found it humorous. Love train, people of the world. On a love train, love train. I have to imagine the love train's floors are sticky. Like, watch where you sit. Just saying. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, you know, I was, I, I, how did you do this? I mean to do it beforehand. Oh, I have to do something else too, so people can find it. Let's Twitch change all that shit. Traditional art, okay. Painting. Uh, tutorial. Update information. There we go. And, and over here. Don't miss this train at the station. I feel sorry, sorry for you. I won't lie, it hurts a lot right now to type one-handed. Well, even two-handed. Uh, I'm trying to flip it, I see a nice little bruise there. I got my f finger caught between my phone and the base of my phone at work. As I was slamming it down after dealing with a particularly annoying customer. I thought I broke it yesterday, to be honest with you. It hurt a lot yesterday. Today it's not that bad. It's just certain taps. Just a little bit. I'm going to have a lighter option, too. You know what I mean? I'm going to get that kind of like out of all sorts of things, but if I want to have it like... Come the fuck on. Wish I had some bedroom sound no one's ever heard. I wish I had some better voices and some better words. I wish I didn't have to rhyme every time I sang. My name's Blurry Face and I don't care what you think. My name's Blurry Face and I don't care what you think. Good time, back time. To the good old days when the mama sang, you were still asleep, but now it's stressed out. She could turn back time. When the mama sang, you were still asleep, but now it's stressed out. We're stressed out. I guess I should have been in charge of that kind of thing. Smell will take me back to when I was young. How come I'm never able to identify where it's coming from?
My name's Blurry Face and I don't care what you think. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days. When the mama sang us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. I won't lie, I lived with my son once. We were in the car, and this song came on. And he started singing along to it. And it sounded like he was singing pretty, like, you know, intently on, like, you know, emotionally with it. And, uh, I was like, dude, I, I don't know how to warn you about this, but, like, you're in the good old days. You're in them. Like, enjoy it now, because shit's gonna hit the fan a little bit. And I also reminded him his mother never sang this, like, I did on occasion, but his mother did not. I should feel pity for my kids. They have to listen to that. Like, you know. And they all had their own like thing that they enjoyed falling asleep to, though. Like Alexis was just a straight up rockabye baby. So she would just she would. I'd have to hold her, when she was real little. I'd hold her and then I'd have to sing to you know, rockabye baby to her, and she would generally drift off pretty quickly. Sometimes she was a little bit of a pain in the ass, but. My has a mental story. Rather go out in a blaze of glory. I can't hear you. I don't fear you. Love is lost because I died, die last. Boots with my broken heart. But, um. Vincent. I'm trying to think what Vincent fell asleep to a lot. Well, see, Vincent, we actually. Got into a spot where he was listening to, um, it was like Rockabye Baby stuff. It was, um, I forget the name of the guy that actually made these albums. So they're like almost like classical type sounding uh, arrangements of like rock songs and stuff. And he fell a lot, uh, asleep a lot to Tool. Um, Nirvana kept him up, the Nirvana version of it, not Nirvana. They were playing Nirvana like him. Be a lot cooler if we did. Um, but uh, when we put on like that, the arrangements of that, it was just they kind of fall asleep to it. And Sophia, hers was um, beyond the sea. And it's funny because she gets mad if I start singing it now. She stop singing. Like, you know, you used to fall asleep literally in my arms. This would be the only thing that would shut you up. You'd be crying. I was a baby and I didn't know any better. That's what I get. I was a baby and I didn't know any better. You sing terribly.
What's the frequency? Can it the show? Things a dream. I uh. I was dreaming, but no, not up to speed. What? All right, so I don't know what to talk about. I'm going to talk about uh, Arrow Knight, I think, right? Let's see. I didn't talk about it the other night, right? No, I watched it on Tuesday. That's right. Yes. Um, so if you're not a, if you are a fan of Arrow and you haven't watched the last episode yet, um, go elsewhere. But tell me you came for me. Tell them I sent you. Uh, don't do that. Whatever. No, yeah, don't. That's fine. I'll just be here lonely. Um, I'm just trying to figure out, like, it, it's really not that much of a shocker, I guess. Like, if you know how last season ended, you can kind of figure out. It's not really a spoiler, I don't think. But anyway, the, the you know, um, what's the, Argus. Argus uh, um, helped set up Felicity and William with new identities to help protect them from Diaz, who last season, you know, got away at the end, but they didn't, and they don't know whether he was alive, dead, whatever. So, they thought, okay, well, I'll give you new lives. And, um, so they, you know, I don't know where they, I forget where they send them to, whatever, but you know, they make them, they give them new lives or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But Diaz eventually finds them, in the, you know, in the episode. And I just thought, like, as, as I was watching the episode, like, you know, like, even if Ollie didn't ask, yeah, I don't, I don't even say even Ollie, because, I mean, obviously he went to prison, but, um, you know, they know Team Flash, which means they know Cisco. And while they most certainly know that they were going through a lot of crap last season or whatever, by the time this everything wrapped up, they would have all been leveled out a little bit. Uh, why didn't they just ask Cisco or Barry to kind of run them over to another Earth? I mean, that's just like the first thing I could think of. Like, easiest. Like, just send them, like, send them over to the Supergirls universe for a little while. You know? The DEO, they knew, they knew Supergirl, and the DEO would have certainly, you know, Alex would help them get new identities, right? I mean, Felicity, I believe, helped at some point during the crossover of last season or whatever, right? Like, that's one idea. Or, you know, another one, um, because, again, they know the Flash team, like, you know... Get, say hey, can uh, when you guys reach uh, the the, um, the legends, you know, throw them on the uh, wave rider for a little while. William can learn a lot of shit about history. You know, I'm just I'm just thinking, you know, spitball on me. It's like hell, man. They'd be really be safer on Earth X with the with the resistance than they would with DS, because at least on Earth X, ain't nobody looking for them. You know, they beat those guys you know, for the most part, at least leadership level of things. So the remainder of it, you're just dealing with regular Nazis, I guess. I mean, not that's much better, but at least they're not looking for them. And if they were under the control, they get under the care of the resistance. You know, with the Citizen so Cold and Array, like, you know, hey, you got it right there. Again, and Felicity's hacking skills can have, help out, I'm sure, at some point. I just felt like, as I was watching the episode, I'm like, there's literally a thousand other things that they could have done. You know, there's about a thousand different things that would have worked to have kept them out of reach of, you know, a normal putz gangster. You know, let's be honest, that's what Diaz is. You know, he doesn't have anybody to help him cross the uh, Earths or whatever. Then he's not, like, the thinker who's going to be like, I anticipated them taking them to other Earths. 
Like, there's no fucking way, you know? So it's like, the best connection he would have had would be Laurel, but he ain't pushing that one, I'm sure, right? Cause she's out to get him. So, like, why the fuck didn't they just send him over to the other Earth? I mean, it seems silly not to have taken advantage of that. And the other thing I thought of, yeah, when I was watching it is, one point Ollie hits a dude with a 45 pound fucking weight. Like, cracks him right across the skull with it. Like, wha I should do it. Blah! You know. And I couldn't help but think, uh, he's dead. He is 100% most certainly dead at this point. I mean, they show the guy like, Ugh. like, no, you're dead. You're literally, you're, not only are you not keeping your eyes open, you're not keeping your brains in your skull anymore at that point. The way that he hit him, with, again, a 45-pound iron weight. And maybe I'm wrong just uh, estimating the size, but having gone to a gym once or twice before, I thought to myself, you know, that looks like a 45-pound weight. I'm pretty sure that's a 45-pound weight. And that gentleman is most certainly deceased. He is no more. Is there anything I could tag for, like, comic book discussions or something? No, no. How about television? Ooh, fortune telling. Nah, I don't know. Never mind. I don't know. I guess people will find it if they look for traditional art. Done. I know that's nerd to pit, nitpicking and shit. But that's like, even like, like again, The Walking Dead's starting to piss me off. And I've said it, it's likely I'm not finishing up the season. Um, they just, they, they moved way too goddamn fast, and they're trying way too hard now, unfortunately, to go the, in, in a sense, the other way. That is to say, they're, like, think it's pretty clear what they're doing with, um, Christ, what's this character's name? I can't remember his character's name from the show. But, um, Ross McQuad. Um, what happened in... Again, I don't want to get into too specific, but... Given his beard and everything, too, it's like, Yeah, you guys are trying to make comic book Rick out of other people. Uh, not going to do it very well, guys. Not going to work very well for you. No, I wouldn't recommend doing that like that. Certainly. Not just forcing it into existence. It's a cracker. Maybe she gave off her first. Think she wants some water. To put out the blue touch. This is me. Have a seat. Let me clap. Dirty wings. Let me take a ride. Hurt yourself. What's it now? Please myself. Got some rope. Have a talk. Promise you. Have a true. Let me take a ride to catch yourself. What's it now? Please myself. Pollen wants a cracker. Maybe she could lack some more food. She asked me to untie her. Chase would be a nice fool for you. Is it me? Have a seat. Let me clamp. Dirty wings. Let me take a ride to cut yourself. Want some help? Please myself. Got some room. I've been told. I promise you. How much you? Sam. Polly says her back hurts. She's just as bored as me. She caught me off my guard. It messes me the well of instinct. Is it me? 
I'm insane. Let it clap. Dirty wings. Let me take a ride at your cell. Once now, please myself. I've been told. Promise you. I'll be true. Let me take a ride at your cell. Once now, please myself. How is she feel? I remember you in the time of my room. All these things we wondered how to hide. See how it works when all the day long in another night. All these things we wondered. Does it cheer feel when you run? Ships will come in, no matter of mine. All this time looking for love, and you want to find peace, and you find me. Country feels when. All this time. That's interesting. That's really story I tell. Rain itself as we say. Huh. Sorry, I'm just noticing that. Huh. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Well, that could screw up. That's really weird. So I'm just I'm just looking at Ed's front seat, please try again. My Ed's front seat, please try again. Oh, that's so weird. Sorry, I'm just noticing, like, my Instagram's version of... Oh. So I'm just all right. So the Instagram version of my uh, I guess I can't can I edit this. That's so weird. The Instagram version of this. I don't know why. Post What the fuck is going on? Oh, that is weird. 
Okay, am I in trouble on Instagram or something? It, like, literally will not post. Well, it won't post the, the tags or anything. Like, it won't post comments. That's weird. Just like witches at black masses. Evil minds that plot destruction. Oh, I like that. It's all surround that's construction. In the fields, the bodies burning. See, I really like. I I I love to paint water because you can play with it so much. There's just so many like different little tones you can throw in at any point because again, the water refracts in a way that nothing else really does. With the exception of, I guess, you know, one could say like glass or whatever if you're painting a still life, like a, like a nice clean glass bottle or whatever, or, you know, or, um, I, mean, I guess that does too, but the, the fact is that you can get away with so much because you could just, you know, look, I mean, at one point the water's going to fracture a little bit and give you a little bit of a pink or a little bit of purple or, you know, like anything. It's great. The war. Why should they go out to fight? They leave peril to the poor. Yeah. Time will tell them they have power lines. Making war just for fun. Treating people just like pawns in chess. Wait until the judgment day comes. Yeah. I am really confused by that Instagram thing. Though. They didn't put a limit on like. Let's see if I take off the last two. Huh. It doesn't like Twitch art. Let's see if I can get this to work then. That's interesting. It's an artist or two of the hashtags. Here's the one that's Alright, so if I take these ones out. That's so fucking weird! Oh, Alright, okay, so you can't ever be the start of a hashtag, I guess. Or something. For some reason, it does not like Twitch art or Twitch artist as a hashtag. As soon as I took them out, comment that it posted. That's nuts. That's cool, cool, baby. That's wackle. Okay, well. I wonder I'm so low on people tonight. Because I'm all low every night. Let's be honest. Now I'll never get a celebrity. Now I'll never be a team model. My niece used to do that all the time. It's the funniest little thing, man. She's, she's like four years old and she'd run around. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha! Now I'll never be a teen model. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Now I'll never be a teen model. She used to do a wacky thing too when she was little. She would do this kind of thing when she wanted us to sing the Barney song. And the problem being that the Barney song is, if you're not familiar, it's the knickknack paddywhack song. You know, like the exact same goddamn song. So sometimes we were just, you know, that's how we know it, so we can start singing and we just end up with a knick-knack, patty whack, is a dog a bone, and it's all that came on. And for a while she didn't notice, but then eventually she caught on. She'd be like, No! Sing it right! Mm. 
I'm just realizing how many imitations I have the women in my life that sound like Teen Girl Squad. Teen Girl Squad! Cheerleader! What's her face? So and so! The ugly one! God, I miss strong, strong bad and quick start runner and stuff. It's funny when I went looking into the because kids used to watch um, when I was on Gravity Falls, and then my wife and I started watching Gravity Falls. Um, but I was wondering why that show was always so good, especially Seuss. So Seuss used to crack me up. I mean, I was like, I would flat lose it with Seuss sometimes, and I was like, God damn! I was like, Why is he so fucking funny? And my wife's like, What do you mean? I'm like, I was like, no, There's something. Like, I was like, That he, there's stuff with that he they do with him, and Grunkle Stan, and I'm like, and and I'm just like, I feel like I've heard it before, and yet it still is cracking me up every goddamn time. I'm like, I was like, There's got, I got, there's got to be somebody behind this that I'm familiar with. There's got to be like somebody. That like, you know, it's like it's in something I've watched or something that you know. I was like, I gotta find out who, cause it's just, you know, I was like, this is so fucking good. And then as soon as you know, I, I come across it, you know, oh, they used to do home oh, sorry, you know. I was like, ah, there you go. I was like, she's like, what? I was like, one of the guys behind this is like one of the writers is used to work on HomestarRunner.com. And she's like, well, I was like, and Seuss has a lot of things that remind me of, um, like, Coach Z and all that, like, I was like, that's why. And then I was like, ah. And Grunkle Stan has a very, and it, yeah, I mean, obviously, I know the, the creator did a lot of his stuff in the film, but I was like, there's little idioms of, of Grunkle Stan that are very strong bad-like, and I'm like, aha, now I got it. Now my post looks stupid. As far as that post is like, oh, it starts at eight fifty, eight o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time. And, you know, I post at eight forty nine. Maybe people look and see that comment that says, "I don't know why this shit wasn't posting." Oh, there goes my brush. My other brush. My brush Daryl. It's my other brother that brush Daryl. Let me try. Let's add it a little thicker up here. See what we get. They cross over a little more, yeah. I don't think it would hurt. I won't bite hard. Girl Scry! Oh my shit. Yeah, I guess I know what I'm doing before bed tonight. Go watch a little Homestar Runner. I have to laugh. I got a uh, last weekend. I think it was last, no, like not this past weekend, but the weekend before. I got a one of those like basically it's a blackmail email. All right, from someone who just spoofed my email account, and um, they had put in there like how you know like it's one of these things where they're saying like oh we've hacked your entire you know system and. To prove it, like, obviously I'm sending this from your email, see? And I have your password written right here. And it's like, I looked at it went, that's not my password. It was my password, like, four years ago. When I, there was, a, I think it was a Netflix hack. And it got, you know, published. And I was like, 
But I changed it four years ago, and I've been changing it actually pretty regularly, because mostly because I forget it now. So I know it's not the one currently, and I know because I don't use that one ever, I don't use it ever again, on anything of value. There's a, a couple times I've used it on things that it's like, look, they can't damage me in any way with this here. If they wanted to pull those passwords up, they felt some reason, some need to go check out this site. They can't attack my wallet. They can't do anything like that on it. So what do I care? It's like dumb stuff, you know. I wouldn't go into details just so don't be tempted, but still. So I know what I've used that word, you know, that password or whatever. And it's like it's not on any of this stuff anymore. So anyway. It's um, something like laughing at it, right? And it's like, oh, send us, you know, we have your entire computing history. We have all your records and your bank records and da 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 And send us $800 and we've watched what porns you've watched and, you know, all this stuff. And I'm, just, I'm cracking up laughing because I'm like, if you guys hacked all my stuff, you literally have hacked all my accounts with this password now that you've been watching, you've been monitoring my computer. That's what they explained to say that we... We've been watching everything you've done on your computer. We have it all, and we're, you know. And I'm like, then you guys already know. I don't have 800 fucking dollars. My retirement fund at this point is about 50 bucks. I plan on saving enough basically for a bullet and a gun. <laughs> That's my retirement plan. Sounds more than that. There was a gentleman I worked with at Quest Diagnostics that, I mean, my man was up there. And he worked until he died. And it's like, yeah, pretty much, uh, that's where I'm at. Like, until I can't, and then I'll die. Unless these things start selling. At that point, that'll be my retirement plan, but I doubt that. Sixty-five, twenty-five, offline drive. And like always, I'm kicking it live. Gonna get there to see if they with this gonna get down. Sound the big breakfast. Start some day with some Bob Marley. Some fresh Marley. Maybe even sparkling with Mickey J. Cause if you gotta get downtown real quick, well the only way to go is I-76. Uh, unless of course you wanna take that scenic view, then the east and west river driver right for you. If you ain't any time to lose, put the pedal to the metal for them boyish group. And get on down to I-76, cause in 1996, ain't no tricks in the mix. 1982, man, it was real cool. School we got good grades, straight up A's. Our parents would take us to see the six, sixes game. And just Mo Cheeks and Moses Malone, Julia Servant called Philly is home. We come from South Philly. Time to the show. There's only one rule that you really ought to know. Get to Fishtown with all that out drive. So just that you drive on I-95. Downtown and play on the fix. Get on that road they call 676, the most expensive, expansive. But the Gaku game. 76 cents. Charles Barkley. This Larry Bird. Get along. 76 cents. Charles Barkley. This Larry Bird. Shoes. Smoking out the skies. Seventy six. Yes. Just gotta get downtown real quick. Well, the only way to go is I seventy six. Unless, of course, you want to take that scenic view. Then the East and West River Drive is right for you. 
can do it at any time to lose, put the pedal to the metal, and that boy is screwed. Again, on down to I 76, because in 1996, there ain't no tricks in the mix. 76ers, Charles Barkley, this Larry Bird, right along, 76ers, Moses Malone. Jerry Stackhouse and Iverson. It's funny they got something they're saying. What about the new kids? What about Iverson? He ain't no new kid no more. And I don't know why the Wolfman Jack just came out. I apologize. Wolfman Jack here. Yeah. It's like, who the fuck's my finish? It's the loot man. Man Jack. It's uh, yeah, around the same time as like Heater with the Heater. You know? You guys know, right? Heater with the Heater. If I had viewers, I'd be like, I got going cops. It's just rambling now. It's just. It's making up words. What the hell's a Geeter? Painting for a lunatic's for, for a reason. Anyway. Oh, damn it. Now I keep forgetting to do it. I keep meaning to ask Preston and Steve if I can use their shit. Like, I should just do it and wait till I get a cease and desist. I feel shady. I'll be honest, I don't even know if they, like, I mean, Steve might. I don't even know if, like, Casey Boy or, or Nick will even know what the hell Twitch is. Well, look, I'm, I'm broadcasting live, but this is something in the background. I mean, like I said, it wouldn't be until after this one. I'm not 100% sure what the next painting is. Um, I mean, not that we're that close. Yeah, it's taken suddenly, you know, this water, as I said, was deceptive, so what looked like it could have been a quick, easy one has become much harder. Um, but, um, I know by my own choices, but still. Um, the, uh, my daughter had asked me to do one of the dogs she had at her mother's and just passed away. So I think that's it. I think that's the next one. Because um, to be quite honest, she outranks all you motherfuckers. Well, no. She, she would be, I think, understanding to a point if, like, say somebody's paying me. So, unless the commission rolls in, that's the next one. Um... It'll be an interesting relationship I'll have with that painting. Because, see, now... As I said, the dog was over at her mother's. And she loved the dog very deeply. And... I didn't have any issues with the dog, per se. Alright. But... Because her mother and I had a contentious relationship... Um, for so long... That it's like... I'll be honest, every time I had to go pick up Alexis and the dog come out and start sniffing around me, I'm like, I was just waiting to hear the words, you know, sick. And it, like, you know, like, just to be a bitch. <laughs> like, you know, it's just like, I was just waiting for her to do it. 
just to be like you know or something so I was like kind of always on guard around the dog you know like you know they say there's no bad dogs there's bad owners and it's just I don't trust the owner so it's like I don't mean to sound horrible and cruel like that but I was just I was ready in case I had to start punching the dog to get it off of me or something And I feel bad for that. I feel bad for having that feeling. But again, it was something that I not, I'm not, I never would have put it on the dog, per se. It's just, I'm just waiting for my ex to do it. Uh, it's after 9, isn't it? i got to go put the kids to bed. So let me put that on real quick. Close that. There we go. And uh, put this just in case people want to see where the hell I am. Oh, helps actually do the transition, doesn't it?
reason cats aren't allowed in heaven. Sorry about that taking so long. My son's cat couldn't decide when to be in his room or not. Groundbreaker. It's late night second time, man. Mm -hmm. Why must I feel like that? Why must I chase the cat? Nothing but the dog in me. Why must I feel like that? Why must I chase the cat? Nothing but the dog in me. Why must I feel like that? Why must I chase the cat? Nothing but the dog in me. Probably disgusting to do right now. Ah, let's see. Oh, I already washed my hands before I. Rum. Now see, this is what will bother me the whole rest of the night. Is I'll be thinking about whether or not that... The screw up with the... Uh, caption cost me anything. I 
Don't catch up. No one's pretending like that would even be bad. Uh oh, made it through the winter. Oh no, summer's too warm. I wouldn't live anywhere else, but don't say you weren't warned. Ooh, beautiful Seattle. Ah, fall into the sea. Earthquake, tsunami. There's still no place I'd rather be. Tsunami, there's still no place I'd rather be. Did you say right guys, take it in stride. With defending right guys. Rest on boo. I'm just changing, there's no substitute. Ooh, beautiful Seattle, ah, 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 fall into the sea, earthquake, tsunami, there's still no place I'd rather be. Earthquake, tsunami, there's still no place I'd rather be. Did you hear that the world is ending? Oh yeah, we already know. Where will you wanna be when the fault line goes? Uh oh, made it through the winter. Oh no, summer's too warm. I wouldn't live anywhere else, but don't say you weren't warned. Ooh, beautiful Seattle. Ah, fall into the sea. Earthquake, tsunami, there's still no place I'd rather be. Shapeshifters, programming, there's still no place I'd rather be. Sound and touch faith. Your own personal Jesus. Someone to hear your prayers. Someone who's there. Your own personal Jesus. Someone to hear your prayers. Someone who cares. Feeling unknown and you're all alone. Flesh and bone by the telephone. Lift up the receiver, I'll make you a believer. Confess me to the test. Things on your chest you need to confess. I will deliver, you know I'm a forgiver. Reach out and touch faith. Reach out and touch faith. Your own personal Jesus. Someone to hear your prayers. Someone who's theirs. Your own personal 
Jesus. Someone to hear your prayers. Someone who's there. Reach out and touch faith. Oh, let's see, remember that. Let's go to the movie again. Feeling unknown and you're all alone Flesh and bone by the telephone Lift up the receiver, I'll make you a believer I will deliver, you know I'm a forgiver Reach out and touch faith Personal Jesus. There we go, full better. Reach out and touch faith. Let's see if we can do it over here then, too. Reach out and touch faith. 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 Yeah, that's not bad today. I've never actually painted waves before. I have painted water, but usually it's still water, like a lake or something. That's a French that I have a salient point to talk about. Alright. I don't know why I just started thinking about it. But, um, I watched a TED talk today. It was run by somebody that, um, they're in charge of the social media accounts from, uh, the Guggenheim. And, um, it was about art in the age of Instagram or something like that. I forget what the actual title of it was. Um, it's pretty close to that, though. And the, um, the woman talking, yeah, like she brought up a number of good points on it. Um, yeah, you know, talking about again, you know, how museums have to kind of almost be more open to the social media world, only because the social media world's going to get that shit out there anyway, as far as the, the artwork that's in there goes. Um, but the artwork's factual stuff is going to become lost in the sauce of it, so to speak. That is to say, you know, you will lose, maybe the painting will be cropped wrong, or the, uh, you know, um, you know, colors are going to be off. That's just natural. Certainly if it's being especially photographed by Joe Schmo with their iPhone camera or whatever, you know. Um, I 
I'm not trying to knock Joe Schmo, but like again, you guys see it here all the time. Or, yeah, actually, I should say you don't see it. Um, and the fact that stuff just does not come across here cleanly. It's just nature of this of cameras versus reality. You can't see my thickness. That's what she said. Um, I don't know. Anyway. You can't, you know... It, there's just certain elements you just can't get across. I'm sorry. It's just, I, I don't know how else to put it. I've said it a million times. It's not going to be hard on that. Oh, that was a mistake. Let's see if we can get that off. Nope, that didn't work. Alright, let's take that. Uh, wow, that was a fuck up. Whew. It's a good thing it's not too hard to cover. I really don't like this song. It's not really a song, it's like a skit. I don't see that in my albums. Um, but anyway, the, um, I mean, she, she was agreeing with me in a lot of senses that, you know, you, you can't experience the piece through Instagram. Uh, you know, you can get an idea, a, a rough idea of what it looks like. It may spark your interest enough to see the real piece, but you can't you can't count looking at something through Instagram, through Twitch, through Facebook as seeing the painting. It doesn't work that way. Uh, um, the only part I want to kind of call her out on is she was trying to find similar ideas from the past to our modern elements here. And so she pointed to Van Gogh's self-portraits as like the old school selfie. Yeah. And I just... And she was like talking about Cezanne's, you know, still lives as food porn, you know, kind of thing. Like everybody pointing to, this is what I'm eating today, you know, like bullshit posts. It's like... You guys need to, like, come to the grips. <laughs> like, Vincent painted a lot of self-portraits for the same reason I have painted a lot of self-portraits. You know why? Because I can't afford models. And my family doesn't want to sit for me. And even when I have had models, I always feel bad because may not look 100% like them because I'm not actually going to look like them. I'm looking for the colors and the weird little flickers, you know, and so if they're sitting like this in one point, you know, sitting, and then we move and they're sitting like this now, shit's changed. And that will reflect in the painting. The, you know, the jawline will be different. or Like, you know, like I'm not, uh, Someone like Giacometti, not that he was a great, perfect portrait or anything, but I'm not somebody who's going to start all over again. I'm not, that's not what I'm after, so I don't care really, per se. I'll try to get you close, only because the lighting has shifted too, so if I was working on a section, I'd want that lighting back. But, anyway. So I always feel bad because it's like, I, I did this portrait, and they're like, oh, that's really nice. You always got the, ah, oh, it's really nice, I love it. You can hear them, oh, that's wonderful. You know? And it's like, okay, well, you don't, but okay, okay. Yeah, sure, you know. Yeah, you, you can tell you love it from the way your voice went up like that. It's wonderful. I've heard that before. Um, but, you know, so I just, I, I felt like I, I just wanted to like scream at it like that's not what they were doing like Vincent didn't paint self portraits out of ego he painted them out of necessity and of study because you had it's easiest to let me experiment on this I did a self portrait at the end of last year that was basically just like all right let's see kind of you know what I can do in a freaky color sense like I really wanted to see like you know Last year was a bad year, uh, you know, and and a good year, and it's it's weird, you know, um, you know, like last year, you know, I, I, I said many times on here, I had my breakdown in the beginning of the year. All right, 
I was basically not a functioning human being. I remember getting confused by the fucking train schedules when I was heading into the city to do what my doctor told me, which is go look at art. You know, go get that part of you back. Um, and while I did fight my way back into it, and back to even to the point of working pretty consistently on my work, you know, there were weird elements. There was the the, the Hill and I-476 painting incident. There was, you know... Um, the boats on Boston Harbor where I ended up at one point that I had a bunch of blue on and it all dried up on me and I was like, I can't risk it again. Thank God it was a weekend and this is back when I wasn't streaming so I didn't care what time I painted. Like, so I painted on a Friday night and I just told my wife, I said, I am painting until it's done. I said, I can't do anything else. There's, there's literally, don't send me out, don't ask me to leave this house. Don't ask me to go, you know, like I'm like... We're not going shopping or any that crap. You gotta do it. Do it on your own. You know. You can leave the kids here if need be. Whatever. But I gotta get this thing done. And um, yeah, not the painting, but I had to get the water done. And we actually had a family like get together with my cousin that had you know we really hadn't seen much of the next day. Yeah. You know. And uh, I was like. You know, I was, a, I was a, just a zombie for them. I remember showing up. I was like, I just looked at them. I was like, sorry. I was like, I, I'm really excited to see you, but I was painting until 2.30 in the morning, and I'm exhausted. And you know, it's getting hot in here because the heater's burning up. It's not on fire anymore. It's like... Hmm. Now he's going to put on the tank top. Jesus. Um... But the, uh, anyway, so there were a couple, I guess, of weird oddities. So even though I got back to working, there were some elements that, you know, just still, still weren't right, per se. Still not now. Nowhere near 100% mentally. Um, in a balanced sense, certainly. Yeah. I'll point to my pinky finger again that I did earlier. Yeah. Like, I can't I don't know. I see that blotch. That's where I slammed it on the phone because I got pissed off at a customer. And I've been told I'm not allowed to just shout fuck or anything like that real loud anymore. So, the, it's got to, that, that, that shit's got to go out somewhere, you know? And I'm sorry. I, I'll say this and I'll tell my bosses this. I'm not going to stuff it down anymore. I did that for a number of years. I stuffed it down. I took everyone's shit from this place. I tried to be the good little soldier, and it almost killed me, quite literally. And I will not do it again. And they want to try to boot my ass out of there and before I leave on my own. And we talk to the... You know, people about the Americans with Disabilities Act, because my depression is a noted thing now. And this is how it reacts, and if I'm told to stuff it down, all that's going to end up happening is it's going to bleed into me. It's going to creep down, and, and it comes out in other ways then, and one of those ways would not pleasant ending for anybody you know I become the announcement I guess I'll talk about it there's only one viewer and I don't think it's a real viewer I think it's maybe me you know a guy at my work committed suicide earlier this year not at the job but you know we got called into a little office and you know told he had passed away and You know, word spreads after that, and everyone figured out what happened, and there were elements going on, and we, you know, in private life, and 
end in this place. And they're just things that are part of this place. And if you try to keep it quiet and keep it inside, don't express it some way like I did for so long and like other people do, guess what? You get that result. And I'm not saying this as someone who's not trying to sound callous. I certainly hope I don't sound callous about it. I'm, I'm just saying as someone that most certainly can relate to it. I get it. I can't not get it from, you know, I understand what he went through. I won't lie, part of me was almost jealous. That's part of my disease. bottle when the guards came up the hill and the people that, that aren't completely like me that, that you know as I said and there's a lot that don't deal with, you know depression like I do there but they do suffer the consequences of that place and it's all in their drinking almost everybody there at least in my office is a heavy drinker and I can't even say in my office because I drank with other people from outside of this office and they're all the heavy drinkers at this place Every single one of them. And I think back, because as I said before, my mother worked for this company for years. And they used to have company picnics when I was little, where the families would all go. And they all got shit face drunk. Every, everybody there was all shit face drunk. And now that I look back, I realize it wasn't like in a celebratory way. You know, I mean, they made it seem that way, sure. But I think in the end, it was this place's madness. <coughs> I think everybody to me one and all get the Darcy Trump and don't be one or it's a done gone. I think everybody there back even back then, this place is a festering shithole of just toxicity. And I think that everybody just, you know, like nobody ever seemed to, I don't know, like it was always, it's always something that now as a kid, as I look back, I look at some of the things I remember seeing and go, oh. you know, and I think if I knew, if I interpreted it, I had thought about it and I'd given the information that. I really would have needed to make a dis really good decision to, to make the right decision about going to this place. I never would have taken the job. If I had been told that like my job is not actually to help people, but to actually just keep the people from being able to reach the plant and hurt their feelings, I never would have taken the job. Or if my, I had been told that my job is to ask the plant and beg them to fix the issue that they created when they themselves will have no ramifications on whether it gets fixed or not then I don't think I would run in you know I would I, like I said I would not have taken this job I've taken it I gotta live with it for now yeah I've been living with it for seven years now but I refuse to have to be happy with it It is the way I am, you know, it is what it is, sure. But I am not going to sit there and let it suck in and, and force me to suck in all of my aggression that this place causes. I won't let it turn inward on me again. Because I drank like fucking crazy before the breakdown. There wasn't a night that went by that I did not have. I'd, I'd take a pint glass and I'd fill it about that much with whiskey. And then I'd put in some, you know, like. Pepsi or whatever, or just ice sometimes, and that's it. That's, I'd just be pounding, and I, I wouldn't just have one. All right, I was going through whiskey like you wouldn't fucking believe. Um, and if I didn't have any whiskey, then it was like 
bottle of wine and be gone in no time or whatever I had and drink whatever I could find. Drinking like wine coolers and shit just because it's like, I don't know, alcohol is pounding them back. Because that's what this place does to you. And it's like, you know, I don't know. I just wanted to, I'm just. Anyway, like I was saying. So as long as I'm here, I'm never going to get back to 100%. I don't know if it's possible even, I'll be honest, to, to ever shake what was done, what happened. But I know it can't happen while I'm there. I can't change departments or any of that stuff. It won't change anything. As long as I'm there, I'm there. And changing departments won't get rid of the plants. Because I'll still have to deal with the same plants. Changing, you know... Changing a team lead might do a little bit, maybe. I don't know. My boss, the only thing I could say is my biggest problem with him is I don't think he understood what my customers are, like what our customers really are like when he got up here. Like, I don't think he knew what our group's customers were specifically. Because um, they are not like other people's, that's for sure. And maybe they are the same across all the divisions, uh, you know, or whatever they divide up the country in. But let's put it this way. I have worked with assholes at Sprint PCS. I have worked with, and I mean customers, that were just complete assholes at all these different places. And none of them, none of them were as bad as the people I've dealt with here. Uh, my, my cousin's husband said something about that. Like, oh, if we don't have asshole customers, we wouldn't have customers. No, these are these are something else. These are these people are something else, man. So, like I said, if you can't get the, if it's not the customers, it's the plants. Let's, here's a great example from today. All right. I have a customer. They've got right now a panel in the field where they have a 20 inch wide box. And they send us a request saying they, that they want a wider box in the field. They want one with an additional seven inches on each side. Okay. So, unless I'm mistaken in my math, that's 34 inches. All right? Seven, seven, 14 on top of 20. There's 14. Right? 34. So, I sent that to the plant saying, hey, a customer would like a box. It's, you know, I'm guessing it has to be custom because I don't think we make one this size. Uh, you know, but they want an additional seven inches on each side. And, uh, so, <laughs> the plant sends back to me, they have to order a 24-inch wide box. They want 7 inches on each side. They have a 20-inch box, and you want me to order a 24-inch. Like, I'm trying, like, uh, like literally, like, you know, the, there's the meme I post on my Facebook, on, on my real Facebook page, not, like, the Brian Goods Paintings Facebook. Um, but I post the, the woman that's, like, trying to, you know, she's got the very confused look, and they put all, like, the weird mathematical equations and stuff all around her. And, I'm, like, that's what I posted, because I was like, I, there's, there's math at work here that I don't understand. There's, there's something... The, the plant did something there in a... 
So I was like, um, if they want seven inches on additional on each side, how is a box that's only four inches wider going to work for them? And then I was like, uh, well, you know, just to be sure, too, as I sent that back to the plant, I went back to the customer and I was like, you you want a 34 inch wide box right like i'm not making i'm not confusing this when you say you want seven inches on each side right i mean admittedly even if they just want seven on the box and i misinterpreted that even though it says seven on each side 24 inch box is going to do it Again, unless I'm really bad at math somewhere, and I don't understand it. I didn't think I was that bad at math. Come on and wade way out into the water with me. Come on and wade way out into the water with me. We're drowning on dry land. Opportunity for all to sing and clap and that dance. Just because the room upsets the room, don't make it in the room. People start to move. You can feel it all over. You can feel it all over, people. You can feel it all over. You can feel it all over, people. So this is no way it's will. You know the things I pull out so quick. It's too far again. It's a duke. There's no way the bank can lose. You can feel it all over. You can feel it all over, people. You can feel it all over. You can feel it all over, people. You can feel it all over. What to say, what to say. Oh, maybe there should be more quiet next time. Last time I got people talking, but it's silent. Alright, someone convinced me to put Rocket League back on my uh, computer. I mean, not that I'm going to stream, but just so I can play it again.
That's what Steam back on there first. I full on rage quit. Try to readjust these a little bit. Just to brush the brush stroke a little. Two pieces! We got no class, and we got no principles, and we got no innocence. We can't even think of a word that rhymes. Schools, summer. Two pieces. No more pencils. No more books. No more teachers. I thought you said school was out for s forever. Ah, uh, I said school was out for summer. What's with all the black? Schools with fever. Schools out completely. you out of the tree of life I just picked me a plum you came along and everything started into hum Still, it's a real good bet, the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come, and babe, won't that be fine? You think you've seen the sun, but you ain't seen it shine. Wait. Till you load my on the way. Wait till I draw. Oh, it's like, what's in that? Sorry. 
Wait till you see that sunshine day. You ain't seen nothing yet. The best is yet to come, and they won't be fine. The best is yet to come, come the day you're mine. Come the day you're mine. I wonder if Instagram would allow that. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out why that got blocked with Twitch art, and Twitch artists. I'm wondering if it's because it sees it as like Twitch chart. Like maybe it thinks it's like a bad, th like you know. And it's blocking what maybe like a potentially like either bullying type hashtag or like a something along those lines. I'm trying to figure out what it could have caused that. Because those two hashtags are blocked. It's yet to come, come the day you're mine. Come the day you're mine. And you're be mine. Remember I told my niece when she was younger. So when you find the person you really, really, truly, deeply love, you'll hear Sinatra. That's a pretty fair assessment. The sun is shining in the sky. There ain't a cloud in sight. It stopped raining. Everybody's in the place. Don't you know? It's a beautiful new day. Hey. Sitting down the avenue. See how the sun shines brightly in the city On the streets where once was pity Mr. Blue Sky is winning here today Hey Mr. Blue Sky, please tell us why You had to hide away for so long Where did we go wrong? Mr. Blue Sky, please tell us why You had to hide away for so long Where did we go wrong? Pretty face. Welcome to the human race. It's a place. It's the blue skies up there waiting. Time for day. Is the day we waited for. Ah. It's the blue sky. Please tell us why. So we go wrong. So pleased to be with you. Look around, say what you do. We're so pleased to be with you. Look around, say what you do. Mr. Blue Skies. Mr. Blue Skies Mr. Blue, blue, blue right Cuckoo comes Mr. Night
Speaking of boy in blue, follow. I got a follow on uh, Instagram from a Twitch streamer named Officer Chris. Officer Chris TV. It's the full uh, Twitch channel. It's not on right now, but I'm just. If anybody watches this later, whatever, we'll give them a follow. One of Texas Finest, I think, is what it said. Well, he didn't say that, but I mean, he said he's from Texas. Whatever. You know what I mean? Just shut up. Because you're bad influences on me. He says to nobody. You know when he's talking to his head. I say in the quiet parts out a lot, you know what I Is he really meaning it? Like, is he really that crazy? They wonder openly as they watch his videos. Do you guys ever get into moments though, like, like you're picturing something in your head, like, you know, a conversation you're gonna have with somebody or, or whatever, you know, and usually it's the one you're gonna tell these fuckers off, you know, you're gonna tell them what you fucking think finally. I'm gonna let you fucking people. I'll tell you what, and then that situation happens, and like, those people don't follow the script at all. Yeah, I got a cold beverage. You know, I mean, it even starts off like in a way, you know, you're all set to, all right, I'm going to scream at these bastards. I said to anyway, right, because for sure I had an extra box of it. You know, you're like, I'm going to give them fucking hell. They're gonna, I know they're going to come in, and they're going to be like, Brian, we need to talk, and you, you're not doing this thing. Or, you know, and you're like, I'm going to rip into them when they do that. I'm, as soon as they tell me that I'm not, I'm going to fuck you. And then, like, it comes in, and you're like, hey, how are you this morning? I'm like, fuck! You're off script already. That's what I like my everyday. Give me a frosty mug filled with A and W if you got ice cream and make it a double scoop of tip from the tap. Real gross. Roll juice in my rod. Walk us to the right. They got beverage inside. Give me a hot coffee and fill it up with ice. What a melon's like a drink. Please fix me a large slice. Summertime is cool. The heat's getting old. You gotta have the beverage. Just make sure it's cold. Cold! 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 cold. Something from the bar. Yeah, I like cold beverage, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm feeling kind of thirsty. Stick it in the fridge, stick it in the fridge, stick it in the fridge. Stick it in the fridge. Stick it in the fridge, stick it in the fridge, stick it in the fridge. Stick it in the fridge. Go, go, work the cold one. Go, go, work the cold one. Go, go, work the cold one. Go, go, with the cold one. Uh, yo, when I'm fishing, let's get one thing clear. The bait's over there. The brew's right here. Two six-packs in the big bag of ice. Did it even catch a bite? But the brew tasted nice. Back to the bar. Strawberry daiquiris in the colada. I need a whole lot of them fruit drinks to catch me a buzz. I must tell you, I'm the Kool-Aid kid. When you serve my drink, please stick it in the fridge. Because I like cold beverage, yeah. I like cold beverage, yeah. I like cold beverage, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm thirsty. I like cold beverage, yeah. I like cold beverage, yeah. I like cold beverage, yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah. Pull it up here.
There's a red house over yonder. That's where my baby stays. La, that's a red house over yonder. La, that's where my baby stays. I ain't built on to see my baby. And ninety nine and one half days. Wait a minute, something's wrong. The key won't unlock this door. Something's wrong. Lord have mercy, this key won't unlock this door. Something's going on here. I have a bad, bad feeling. I'm a baby. I don't live here no more. Uh, that's alright, I still got my guitar. Look out now. Well, I might as well go back over yonder. Way back across the hills. I do. Well, I might as well go back over yonder. Way back yonder across the hills. Cause if my baby don't love me no more, I know her sister will. That's always the song I used to introduce my kids to the blues kind of idea. Like, I used to tell them, make their blues face, and I'm like, I can't even see the face I was making. I was like, hmm. Yeah. Like when you're playing the guitar. <laughs> yeah. It's stupid. Don't get me wrong. Wildly stupid. It's the dumbest thing to teach children as you can, but damn it all, it's funny to watch little kids make that face. Well, no, I, I, I'll admit, there's 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 absolutely dumber that you can do. Probably the worst is what I did to my oldest for a while. She doesn't really remember, I'm sure. But, um... My oldest, when she was little, I was... I, 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 and again, I will say, she learned this without ever seeing the movie, because it was certainly not a children's movie. It's not really a movie anyone should watch because it's terrible. But um, the Devil's Advocate, a movie that should have been like great because you had Keanu Reeves as you know Keanu Reeves, but you had um, you know Al Pacino as the Devil. Uh, it should have been great, but ended up being the Devil's Advocate. So. But there's a there's a point where Counterius delivers a line and it's as stiff as it could be and, and I I want to reiterate but I, I know Count is a great person in real life like he's 
And he's going through some shit, dude. I know that. But damn it, man, that is the stiffest delivery I've ever heard in my life. Where he just goes, I don't lose, I win! And it's just so badly delivered. And so I just, I, I, I've always harped on it. Ever since that moment, I, I used to call him Mr. Personality. Keanu Reeves. And, um... And don't get me wrong, I actually am a fan, but it's just, it's just that moment was... This was really, you know, post-Matrix Keanu could have literally just done anything and they would have hired him. You know, anyway. Um, and it probably would have sold fine, you know, it did sell fine. But, so anyway, I would have my daughter, I'd say, uh, I'd, I'd say at one point, whenever I was talking to somebody, you know, at one point something would just come out and say, I'm playing devil's advocate. And then I would say, Allie, how do we play devil's advocate? And she would go, I don't lose, I win! And I'd die laughing. Because usually you just had the most confused look on whoever I was talking to. Yeah. And it, like I said, it was my buddy Bongo or, or buddy Bill. And they'd be there and just looking like, did she just, uh-huh. You taught her, uh-huh. It's basically like Harry Connick Jr.'s character in uh, Iron Giant when he gets washed under the... Hey, you know you're... Yeah! You're in the middle of the road. Yeah! Okay. You know, like... Damn, it's fun. I don't lose, I win. So that's the dumbest thing you can teach your children. Feel free to take that. If it was real fun, you could teach them, like, you know, like, you tell them, like, uh, you know, when you turn 18, the night you turn 18, you just punch it dead in the face. And they'll be like, what do you mean? Like, because I can't. For any crap you've caused me all these years, I can just pop you in the face when you turn 18. Because before you turn 18, it's child abuse, that's a felony. After you turn 18, it's a misdemeanor, assault and battery. Just let them know that's coming, you know? It's, they'll fly straight. Just kidding, don't do that. It's technically mental abuse. And that's just as bad, if not worse, than physical abuse. Again, you people have bad influences on me. I don't want to talk about it as far as, because again, uh, it's a problem with being so fucking slow anymore. So I talked about all the paints and stuff that we're using already, so I don't have to just bring it up again. Okay, you know, this is our Naples yellow. It's tapping in there a little bit, sun just reflecting off of the water, you know, in a couple spots. Sometimes it carries a little longer, sometimes it's just a little choppy little thing. Um, yeah, carry it along the top here of the wave. Like, you know, this part of the wave here, it's, it's... I'm gonna have to go back in, because it's gonna pop things up if I want it like that. But, you know, the wave right here is just sort of, sort of crusting, it's not really, you know, so you're gonna have to kind of... Uh, actually, I that one, I think. Some more seafoam color. You know, so you get little highlights of the yellow that are along that stretch. Couple spots where it's going to break into the white, and back to the sea foam, and all that. It's going to go back and forth. And the sea foam green that we kind of made here is Viridian, paled out. A little turquoise blue, if you want, left on the brush. That'll help it. Yeah, we do the same thing, like right up in here. Sort of starting to crest up a little bit. Yeah.
There's some oops in the um, olive green in there too, and it's just got this kind of funky color. Which is like straight up. Hey everybody, it's good to have you on the map. Ah, Thank you. Did I lose you? Oh, it is. You don't know Ian. I know an Ian. A long time ago. Well, thank you for the follow. I don't know Ian122. How are you? You're not the Ian I used to know, right? It's a long time since this thing happened. I'm doing all right. Not going as quickly as I would have liked. Got caught up in a lot of details, but it's uh, it's grooving along. Slowly but surely. It's been so long since I actually heard that announcement. I actually, like the pop of Pierre Robert there, I actually got scared. Uh, let's see, that Ian, Jesus Christ. Uh, God, I think about how long those it's been. Let's see, I was working at Sears and King of Prussia. Uh, is that where I started? All right, or right after I started? And he was like 16 at the time. So we're talking 12, 13 years ago. It was 16, something like that. Let's put it this way. Did you work at Sears and King of Prussia? If not, you're not there. I didn't know that. I don't think I ever knew any other means. But it was always fun because I remember I used to say, if, if I ever want to really just piss off a customer one day, just just to have some fun and let off a little steam. With my name tag, the way that Sears fonts were, it was all capital the whole time on your name tag. You know, it was like a big lanyard and shit. And I was like, I'll just hold up my lanyard and show them, you know. If you got a problem? My name's Ian. It's because my name's Brian, so I could just cover up the B and the R. <laughs> and they'd come back and pitch about Ian. Like, what the hell? I didn't do anything. I never did it to me. It's funny as hell if I did. Sorry. It's getting near the end of the night. It's just about 10.30. It's going to wrap up about then. Continue tomorrow night. Alright, let's see back to the seat film a little bit. That there. Maybe a little again. Maybe we'll see a little.
I do remember, unfortunately, the very sad way he ended up losing his job with us. Because it was kind of a bullshit thing. They had a, um... They were trying to sell off, like, excess inventory bullshit that they just had sitting in the backyard. Like, basically, in the back, or back room, I mean. The backyard. It's a fucking department store. They have a backyard. Yeah. They had a, you know... So they went outside, they had like a tent sale out front of my, um, out front of the electronics department, like outside, entrance way. And they, you yeah, know, it was like cordoned off and everything, and they had a bunch of, like, I mean, it was like clothes and all sorts of craziness, you know. Uh, my buddy Mike bought like a, uh, a, a tripod for, the, for his camera, because we had a bunch of excess stuff. He bought it for like, Dollar fifty or something like that. It's a crazy good deal, but anyway, Ian bought some stuff out there, and uh, one of the things was that he got some black socks. I remember that specifically, his black socks. But apparently, the person who rang them up didn't do it properly, and so when he got checked out at the end of the night. You know, and to show our receipts and everything. They examined the receipts, and the black socks were not on the receipt. And now the black socks were on the outside thing. Like, a pair was like 50 cents or something stupid. It's crazy. Alright. And so they shit canned them for attempting to steal black socks. And the thing was, Ian worked with me in the electronics department. Which, as he pointed out, dude, I have access to hundreds of dollars of equipment every day. If I was going to try to lift something, you know, if I was going to try to actually steal, I'd steal something from there. <laughs> it's like... I could get away with a digital camera that, you know, like, he's like, it's just going through it. I mean, like, he didn't say this to the security guard to check the, you know, was at the time processing, basically firing him at that exact moment. Um, but he called me later about, he's like, dude, I don't even understand why they thought, like, it's like I tried to explain to them. I bought them on the outside thing. They, they, they were there. They were, you know, priced it. 50 cents for a pair and they just didn't ring them up and you know he's like I'm so low priced on everything else that I didn't notice 50 cents you know and he's just like it's kind of a bullshit way to get fired Frelinski sent me a friend request. Oh, I'm sure that's legit. Might as well just go ahead and reject that now. Come to make sex all over my face. I bet you that's what this is like. Over there. Me looking for good fucking. Neural Farizisky. Farizisky. Please to make sex all over my face. Let's see, how many friends do I have in common? No. Ah, but some of these are very entertaining. She shared an object 19 minutes ago with the Washington from the Washington Post or on the Washington Post. Video's amazing. Big butt horny girl get fucked hot dick. Free HD porn. Hot girls love big dicks in her pussy big ass. So, I'm going to reject this friend request. Uh... And block. And... Make sure we do that. And done. Okay. Deleted. 
Okay. Say you. Darling, you're the one who. Say you. I am one. Say you. Darling, you're the one who. Say you. Russian spam bath. Spamming dirty porn movies everywhere. We cannot achieve much with so small penis. So that's what they should have done. So the Russian bots want to get away with their spam operation. Now that people have heard about them and know that they were coming at these things in real life, you know, what they should do is like try a different tactic. Pretend to be like, you know, Japanese men from the uh, Chin Pokemon episode. We cannot achieve much with so small penis. You, America, you have a very big penis. I mean, even like the American officials, you know, that know it's bullshit. Oh, there you go. There you go. Penis so small. Say you, I am one. I could not achieve much with so small piss. Who is so small? Put your dream somewhere for another day. And I will take you in your heart. Wishing on a star never got you far. And so it's time to make a new start. So no, wait, is that, that's a 49, right? No! Come on, you tell me that? Come on, wait, 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 wait. Did I lose one and then get another one? Come on, I'm refreshing, I was gonna say. Can't be fucking kidding me. Who did I lose? This is happiness, darling. I, mean, I gotta see this. I gotta, I gotta see it. Or did he click on follow that fast? No? Okay. Jackson Cole, Darker Delights, GG, a dog. Yeah, just so that. MMA. Dirty Desi. Oh, what the fuck? Who did I lose? Oh, my mother's still here. That scared me. Insane the sun still here. This music, art pattern. Uh, what am I missing? Who did I lose? Uh, damn it, I can't get past this hump. One one's hit 50, man. I'm not even worried about affiliate yet. Affiliate will do something else, but for 50, I'm doing a giveaway. Jesus, how many more times I gotta fucking try this? You get a free drawing! I know my drawings suck, but whatever. My art's garbage, but come on. 
free. One day I'll die and it'll be worth three times as much as free. Please don't anyone do the math on that. Got a real type of thing going down, getting down. Oh, rhythm going. You got a real type of thing going down, getting down. There's a whole lot of rhythm going round. How we want the funk. Give up the funk. How we need the funk. Gotta have that funk. Uh, okay, I don't know why it's because one was at 48 last night, but whatever. I feel like I should have another, but it is even, right? I mean, let me go back all the way down here. No, it's not. So how's that work? All right, must be not like registering fully yet because Mike's the last one down there, so that would mean it's an odd number. And that don't make no sense. That would be an odd number. Yeah. It's no bullshit. It's no bullshit, Twitch. Twitch, I smell bullshit on you. You are not counting properly. Huh? Monday. We need the funk. Gotta have that funk. How we want the funk. Give up the funk. How we need the funk. Gotta have that funk. Na 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 I've already gone longer than I actually expected to, so I thought, I was like, eh, the new follower, I'll stick around, but I don't know who. I don't think it's here anymore. Was I scared? Was it the right again? I don't know. Alright, so, um, that's it for tonight. Um, good work done. Good job, guys. Um, tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, is the start of the next episode, and we'll finish up the water. There's not much left. I mean, it's, you know, a few more dashes here. Pretty much just the, the foamy top parts. And then we're on to the boats real quick. So we'll get through that. And maybe we'll get started on the uh, beach tomorrow. Which should be exciting. Because honestly, I mean, like, alright, it's 10-17. Even if I finish this by, like, November 1st, I am in a fucking really good place. I mean, this is this is painting number 11 on the year. Right? Hold on. Yeah, it's gotta be, right? That's it. I, I do this all the time. I know I'm gonna go through it again. Ready? So we had the horse shed in winter. All right. Followed by uh, the still life with various fruits. Um, where's Trixie next? Doesn't matter. Then Trixie. Then Kyrum. Uh, oh, that's no, I streamed Kyrum, didn't I? I'm sorry. So it would have been Trixie would have been the bridge. Then Kyrum. Right? Yeah, that sounds right. Um, Wilma. Uh, El Sueno de la Razón produces monstrous. Um, let's see. When I came back. So I just gotta look, look at what, what paintings we did. Um, then it would have been the barn. Zen Garden, Church, this, yeah, 11. So that's 11 paintings so far. So, that's great. I wanted to do one per month at least. Um, and after this, I only have small canvas. I figure there'll be another self-portrait at some point. Um, just because it's easier to do. And I got my daughter's request for the portrait of her dog. Um, that passed away, so another animal portrait. Um... And then, uh, who knows? I mean, it's only, two, it's only two more. So if I finish this before November, even like I said, November 1st, 
I can maybe bang out two smaller ones before the end of November even. So that'd be, you know, that'd be 13 on there. That's great. And then we'd still want to keep going, so we'd have stuff for December, and so there'd be another one at least. All right. And there may be a commission, who knows? Um, now I remember, I was just checking through here again. Um, what was his name? GG the dog, I think, might have been the one. Now that's who it is. There's somebody the other night with Turkish delights that dropped me. I think. Yeah, I think that's who it is. There's somebody who was asking about a uh, commission. They're not uh, either. They're not here. Or the Turkish delights. Ah, uh, we'll figure it out. All right. So whatever. Good night. I'm I'm, I'm talking enough. Enough. Good night.